Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 17th of 2023 and I'd like to bring another prophetic word to you from the Lord this morning. Once again, apologies for background noise and coming to you with these sunglasses. I ask for your patience in these matters and my hope is that there will be no distraction to hearing what the Lord wants to say to all of us today. In this word today, the Lord is speaking once again about the work He is doing in His own people. Some of us may be wanting to hear more about world events about the situations going on around us in our governments, in our social systems. But the Lord is pinpointing those things He is working on in us. And so my hope is that you are able to receive these words and that they would encourage and bless and also bring the change and transformation in our lives the Lord is wanting to accomplish. The scriptures tell us that when we put our trust in Jesus, repent of our sins and turn to God, our sins are forgiven. However, we live in a sinful world and we've had opportunities in our lives to be caught up in the things of the sinful nature, tossed to and fro by the temptations around us to go in a wrong direction, to make wrong choices, and to open doors to the enemy in our lives. And so there is a work the Lord is doing in His people to bring us into a depth of freedom we have not yet experienced. And this word today addresses this work the Lord is doing. This word is titled, Freedom is Coming. I hope you will be blessed as you hear it. I'll begin by reading scripture. Acts 3 verse 19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. This scripture verse may be applicable to a new believer, someone who has just heard the message of salvation, and it is an instruction to repent of sin and turn to God so that the refreshing of the Lord may come into your life. However, this scripture verse is also applicable to those who are in Christ, that as we repent and continually turn to God, we are being refreshed. Hebrews 12 verse 1 Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. This scripture verse clarifies to us that we play a major role in being set free, that we need to take action to throw off everything that would hinder us to run the race for Christ with great perseverance. I'll begin reading this word. Press into me, press in and press on, says the Lord. The trials you are undergoing are temporary, and soon Satan shall be crushed under your feet, and you shall move out in great demonstration of power and authority. 
This authority is kingdom authority released unto you by your heavenly Father who has chosen you and set you apart for such a time as this. Be willing and obedient to receive of me, to lay down your life for me, to stand up for me under persecution and accusation, and I will reward you greatly. Keep your eyes and your heart fixed on the Father and Son, and you will be taken to great heights in my spirit, says the Lord. Continue to throw off the things that dog your feet. Continue to stand against the temptations that come. Listen for my voice and counter the voice of the enemy. Tune your ears to hear my voice, for in this way you are able to walk through the fire and not be burned. My word is a light for your path, and it will guide you through. Seek me in every situation. Do not be discouraged by what you see, but put your trust in your heavenly Father. You have not been this way before, and this ground is unfamiliar to you, but trust me to win the victory. Stumblings and fallings will come, but with each encounter, a greater depth of understanding of the things of the kingdom is coming. Be encouraged. Know that everything is in my hands. Bring every area of concern before me and know that I hear your heart's cry and that I will answer. Be willing to put everything into my hands, and I will honor this, for my desire is that you surrender everything to me, and let me heal you and raise you up. Let go of those things that try to dictate to you. Let go of worldly wealth and pleasure, and you will see my hand move on your behalf to take you higher up the mountain. Sing a song of love unto your Savior. Abandon yourself unto Him. This world is passing away, and all things are becoming new, so be willing to let the things of the world go. Hold fast to what I have shown you, says the Lord. Keep these secrets in your heart. This is the day of justification for the elect. Multitudes are in the valley of decision in this day. The harvest is coming in. The sound is the sound of the trampling of the nations. I am threshing the nations in this day, says the Lord, and the enemy is being trampled underfoot. Rejoice in your God, for he is coming in vengeance to cut away the hold of the enemy on your life. You will be released to dance and sing unto your God. A release of the power of my spirit is going forth in great waves. The waves are roaring forth with the vengeance of God. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Bring him the sacrifice of praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, for he has placed your feet upon the rock, and you shall not be moved. I am pruning away the dead branches, and the process is painful. The trunk of the tree will not be harmed. It will remain, and when the pruning is done, new growth will come forth. Branches that do not bear fruit are being removed. Dead, dry limbs are being plucked off. The debris is being pruned away, for the time is short. Much is about to be accomplished in the realm of the Spirit, and a great harvest is about to be plucked out of the hands of the enemy. 
prepare for abundant growth in the kingdom of God. The hearts of men need to be softened, and the word of God needs to be planted in them. Pray for the river of life to come and flood over, a great refreshing, a revival of the soul. Look to the Lord, seek his face, walk in his way, follow after him, leave worldly ways behind. Ask him to come and wash away what is not of him. Let him purify and hone till the stone becomes a gem of great worth. Walk in the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Separate yourself from evil and do not let yourself be defiled. Take the word of God and go forth into the world, taking the light of God with you. In this word today, the Lord is giving us instructions on how we can be set free to experience the freedom that he intends for us to be disentangled from those things that drag us down, that bind us up and hinder us from moving forward in his kingdom. He is telling us to let go of worldly ways and not to let the world dictate to us. He is pruning us in this day, removing those things in our lives that are not beneficial to us and that do not bear good fruit. He is encouraging us to follow after him, to walk in his ways, to seek his face, and to let him hone us into precious gems. If we go through this pruning process, this refining process, if we are willing to let go of those things that we are familiar with, to enter into refreshing and newness we've never known before, we will see abundant life in our lives and the growth of God's kingdom in the earth. I hope this word encourages all who are listening today that the Lord is doing a great work to revive his people and to bring revival to this world. May we be willing to surrender all to the Lord, to be able to run that race with great perseverance. I pray the Lord's blessing on all of you today. May he pour out his goodness upon you. May he refresh you and stir you up to take on his challenge to leave the world behind. This is a new day and the old is passing away. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.